I don't expect a significant change in the way that the passengers will deal with the, the merger. At least not until the federal government approves this mega merger, which could take six months or more. In the immediate future, no change at all. Frontier and Spirit will continue to operate independently. Justin Meyer with Kansas City International Airport says Spirit and Frontier manage around 7% of the airport's current traffic. However, this could stimulate more flights to and from Kansas City. Right now, there's only one market where the two entities overlap, and that's Orlando, Florida. Uh, so there's a lot of a lot of opportunities for new growth and not a lot of risk for us. Travelers who already have flights booked on Spirit and Frontier won't see any major changes for a while. Both airlines felt strong effects from the pandemic. And through the pandemic, both of these airlines were were very uh, uh, dynamic in the Kansas City marketplace. Spirit Airlines, as a percentage, was our fastest growing airline through the pandemic. They were larger during the pandemic than they were pre-pandemic. Meyer says for now, the plan is the two airlines will have separate counters in the new KCI terminal, which is set to open next March. Traditionally, merging airlines help the passenger, but Kathy Sudeikis with Ascendus Travel isn't sure that applies here. When it comes comes to a, a, an airline that really only handled half the country, combining with another airline that combined half the country, you know, the two together will make it a stronger uh, opportunity for people to go coast to coast. Subtle changes can take place during airline mergers. Sedakis recommends that travelers should double check their flight numbers and departure times before they leave for the airport since different routes could be in use. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.